Joe. Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is the story of our wedding day. about half an hour before schedule. And I guess on your wedding day, you definitely don't want to feel rushed. It was just very quick and um, just let's start the celebration as soon as we got home. Um, we made it through the early morning part of um, hair and makeup, so now it was the time to really start the day. It was just very relaxing. I didn't want to eat anything, but um, we just wanted to try to keep hydrated. Oh, there you go. That's great, right there. Uh. And had some uh, some cookies. I love them. Oh, which ones do you love? Not for you. Those confetti things that you hate. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just hanging out, killing the time. We weren't even doing anything. I don't even I don't even know what the heck we were doing. We were just um, hanging out and chatting and um, talking about the day. I think. <laughs> Okay, so this is the car bag? Yes. Okay. I was happy with the flowers. They came in yellow. Girls, that's a junior. Love these. And two bright things. Sure, it's just done. How does it look? It looks nice. Good. Yep. But they're nice. I like them. Oh, sorry. They're beautiful. Yeah, they're just nice. I know my sister and Fab wanted to start having their champagne. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting it away. <laughs> My aunt, Lucia, she's very calm and excited all the time, so we're very happy that she was at the house. Is that bad? Woo! All right. Mom. Very helpful all the time. Oh, you guys, we have some time. I had a couple hours still, so I'm very relaxed. It was good. We can just relax. We wanted to try to enjoy my mom's nice backyard. Yeah. Oh, it's so hot out here. Yeah. Oh. I waited until I'm in my dress. Oh. It was so hot already. I think it was only like 10 something in the morning. Her gazebo is so nice and the yard is so beautiful. We had a nice little toast out in the uh, backyard, I think. Our makeup was starting to melt, so we needed to come inside um, only after three minutes. All celebrations, eating and um, having champagne and orange juice. So in the standard statement of, I'm not awake until 11 o'clock, don't talk to me. Yeah, no, I Where was... were you at that point? You need to see my mother's dress. Oh, Is it time? It's time. Holy I strong. think it should be time. We wanted to show Fab my mom's dress because it's so gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. Take it out of the bag. Gorgeous. So Fab just came in from Nova Scotia the day before, so she hadn't, one of my maid of honors wasn't even around during the planning process. She, she hadn't seen my dress, she hadn't seen, uh, she had just seen the bridesmaid's dress and the shoes for the first time the day before. So everybody's like staring at me walking down the aisle and everybody's staring at her. <laughs> So I wanted to share everything that she didn't get to share with us during the last um, 10 months. And one of them, of course, was the mother of the bride dress, which is stunning. That's gorgeous. So Vanessa purchased a clutch for the day. Did you see the purse that I had? Because I didn't provide clutches for anybody and I didn't provide instructions. Wouldn't so, they just be carrying bouquets? No, but you have to have a cut. You have a, have a little purse for your lip gloss and your whatever. Vanessa owns that purse, and it's no. I, it's, she I just, just happened to buy it. it. So I would. But Lucia's dress was blue, so we were very lucky. So we gave Vanessa's clutch to Lucia, and that's what was going on up there. I was gonna use that today. A blue purse with yeah, you dress. Yeah, perfect. perfect. So Vanessa bought royal blue, and um. I, how are you introducing a new color into the wedding party? And of course, as the artist, um, she said, wow, royal blue looks perfectly um, with yellow. But you can't introduce another color Why? that I didn't already have introduced. But we were gonna leave it in the car anyway. So my mom had a nice royal blue pendant necklace for Lucia to wear that 
like we we're just very fortunate that it matched perfectly the dress. <laughs> Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. My mom had a necklace as a gift for Lucia for her birthday. Whoa! That's exactly perfect! Lucia got a new clutch and a new pendant. And but this is gonna go a lot lower. Outfit. So it was worth the drive from Montana. Okay, what do you, how do you feel with that? It's great. By the time I'd woken up, my parents were out the door. So I pretty much, the, the house was completely empty. Much uh, different from my place. I only had four people, but at least uh, you got to sleep normally. So I had a couple cups of coffee, which was great. And close to my second cup of coffee, my dad showed up and he had a cup of coffee with me, so we were just sitting around. And then Jen and Steve showed up. When they got there, it was a bit of a surprise for them for the house to be so empty because they were on a timetable. Yeah, exactly. They had to get here, and we actually stretched them so we were at a point, it was me, my dad, and, and Anthony, the videographer, and then... Captivating uh, video, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, real, <laughs> real interesting. Because <laughs> Jen and Steve were on time, and they, you know, they, they did their things with me getting ready. My parents got me this watch in Italy. And I just figured the day before, yeah, I'm gonna wear this watch, but it doesn't even fit me. But how are you gonna adjust the links in such a short period of time? You have to actually take it to a jeweler, so I just went with it. So I wore a loose watch all day, but you know, they took the pictures of the bands, they took a picture of the watch and the cufflings. But the night before, Sarah had given me a pair of cufflings that had belonged to her father, and she got my initials engraved on them, so I thought that was special it and I was. thought that was nice to yeah. uh, they they deem me somewhat worthy to uh, to get a pair of and at least they're still stylish and they are they absolutely are so and yeah. everybody uh, commented commented on them so after I, put, well, I guess I put the watch on so we had my dad come upstairs and adjust my you know the tie was already done for me because we wanted a thicker knot and who knows how to tie that except people at the stores that sell you the ties. So that's what we did. We went and got somebody to do that. Uh, so we had my dad come and just pretend to, in his uh, black socks and brown Birkenstocks, come upstairs. And So my dad and I took some pictures. When did the flowers arrive? I don't know, they showed up. Who brought them? Shannon. Like, like Ralph's wife, Shannon? No, Shannon the florist. Oh. <laughs> we were doing a couple pictures of my dad putting, pinning the uh, corsage on me or pretending to. Instead of like faking it with two hands, he's just like this. So I spent so much time in my car my brothers didn't arrive with my nephews until... Or your mom. Or my mother until, let's say, quarter after 10. <laughs> JJ's not dressed. <laughs> refused to put his shoes on, refused to put a tie on, refused to tuck his shirt in. I mean, he's three, <laughs> so. Yeah. I put the wedding bands in the box with the boutonnieres, so we made sure that the boutonnieres would come with us. Mm, this thing? Oh, wow, very nice. Okay, let me, let me put your shirt, tuck in your shirt. You know, Julio was spending some time trying to convince him to, you know, get dressed, and so that was taking up a bit of time as well. Good, let me see. Let me see. I'm going to take you and Sammy. Look at my table and see what's up. Boy, look awesome. Wow, yeah. They finally got him dressed, and we were trying to get some pictures, but he didn't want to get any, take any pictures. Okay, this is not going to go well today. I can just tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bella. Come on, let's do the tie. Let's do the Okay. 
And then pictures of me with the boys. Then we went outside and took some pictures in the backyard, and that's where, you know, we, we were gonna do some pictures with the sunglasses and that whole thing where <laughs> Julio didn't have his sunglasses, he left them in the car. But you can't expect him to walk around with his sunglasses, but you know, it's like, you can't just borrow his sunglasses for a couple pictures. So I think we just went with uh, a few pictures in the backyard and then Jen and Steve had to go. Nobody else had seen my earrings. So it was nice, they're, they're very pretty, and um, we were excited to put those on before, because it completes the look with my hair and makeup and everything. Sad. Very, very, very legal. Legal. We should switch. Yeah, they Did you like my earrings? I don't know if you probably don't yes, even remember them. You know what, I do remember them. Okay. Is, um, ring the doorbell. She can have them. Never freeze chocolate. Okay. Put it in your wallet. Oh, yeah, just to know that someone's, someone's, someone's coming. Come in! Oh, How are you guys? Are they in suits yet? Yes. yes yeah. Are they in they ties yet? What color are the ties? Yellow. Wow, that is exciting. <laughs> we needed to start putting me in my dress. The dress is kind of heavy. And then eventually we moved to um, Vanessa's bedroom to start getting Fab and Vanessa ready. Oh, okay, well, Fab can put that on for you, can't she? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put it on. Put it on. Mm -hmm. With uh, putting on all their undergarments. I don't know if you noticed Vanessa's chest, but she had a lot of, uh, she had a lot going on yesterday. I noticed not her chest. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> The video camera didn't get to me be in all of the rooms, but um, but overall it was good. Well, because people were getting naked. It was oh, <laughs> I thought it was because there was clothes on the floor. I don't want to give all the secrets of what was going on in that room because it's private. Tape. So we Lots of tape. No, there's no tape. Now you have boobs a little bit more. Oh, wait. Now I actually have a cleavage. <laughs> Look at Vanessa. Ooh. My thing is so tight right now. Is it? It would have been nice to have you part of the um, process, but um, unfortunately, there's not a lot of undergarments. Reality worn. wedding video, not uh, reality <laughs> wedding. Porno. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> but they looked good. They were both. Uh, they had both got their dresses tailored to the point that uh, nothing was moving once they got zipped up. So it was good. <laughs> I had to get ready. <laughs> I think we let the videographer in once um, most of it was done. It's fine, it's tight. Do you think that this is perfect? It's very tight. Do you think I'm happy to do this again? So Fab and, um, and Jen, the photographer Jen, was in there with me the whole time taking pictures. Breathe. Yes. It's too bad. What was the air conditioning set at in this house? <gasps> I don't know, but Vanessa turned it down, I think, a couple times. Okay, because I turned it down to uh, 76, and then I got yelled at that it wasn't low enough. It already was at 76 at our house. Then I turned it down to... 74. Yeah, and then I still got yelled at that it wasn't low 74 enough. 74 is low. Very difficult. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's right there. Victoria and Annika showed up, too while I was putting my dress on and um, They both looked so cute. They did, but they didn't come, they weren't dressed when they got here. Jay dropped them off um, with all of their dresses in their garment bags. So Lucia put them in the, um, in their dresses in my old bedroom. I got this and then this. Like right underneath my belt, there was like a little, bubble of stuff right underneath my belt. So they had to go underneath and try to re-put my crinoline on, but there's just so many layers that they have to fit their head under to try to like bring the crinoline skirt back around my waist. I'm sure it was a show. I can't imagine if it's on the video what it's gonna look like. Oh my God. <laughs> it's not fun down there with all those layers.
<laughs> it's not fun. Yeah, that's nice. That's good. Is that good? Yeah, it feels good. Very early. He was really early that. So that should have like kind of created a sense of urgency. No, for he guys. was. It was. He was like an hour and a half early. Whoa! Take your time. We're so close. Quarter after eleven rolls around. Family shows up, which was great. I thought it was really nice that you know the Papas and the Rizzos they all you know decided to stop in before the mass. Uh, but then it was a bit of a scramble to kind of put stuff out. The cousins are here. Not the cousins. Cousins. The boys are playing PlayStation. They're playing like Gladiator on the uh, oh on our on the uh, mm -hmm. on the move there. We basically had five minutes to socialize and start gathering the the uh, wedding party troops to get out the door. Eleven thirty comes around and I'm out the door you know, with my parting words of, we have to start at 12.30, so please arrive at the church on time. Oh, right under the air. And so JJ starts running away and mm -hmm. hiding in between the cars on the driveway. Got to the church and that was it. Got a sandwich. Oh, it's important. Sam's got a sandwich. <laughs> you think that I would have a bridesmaid? Uh, <laughs> so usually the bridesmaids are the ones that help me put my shoes on because at that point you can't see anything because there's so many layers. So Victoria and Annika had to help me put my shoes on. It was funny, but it was cute. I'm sure those are good shots of me trying to squeeze my foot into um, a shoe that wasn't easily uh, being tilted to put my, but it was adorable. That's cute. They, they were both loved, on. They probably loved it. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Is it, my foot almost in? Yeah. Ben took a whole bunch of pictures with Annika and Victoria. All right. Now, can you guys go and stand beside her for me? Looking at me, leaning towards each other, nice smile. That's perfect. It was good. They look so cute. I'm happy with their dresses. Come towards me. Good, work. good. Now face that way again. There you go. Nice. So it's going to be cute. Victoria is, like, adorable. She, like, she, she had her, like, fake, like, beauty queen uh, <laughs> smile on. So we went to the front yard to take pictures because it's all shaded in the front yard and we took like family pictures with the three, Vanessa, me and Fab, and then me and my mom. Kind of covers too. Most of the shots aren't gonna be full length anyways. Sarah, for this one, I want you to turn slightly oh, towards your mom. The limo showed up, I think, around noon, and I think we were supposed to leave at 12.15. Oh, and then Annika and Victoria went in first with their staff, and um, then my mom needed to uh, get in with those crazy shoes that she was wearing that her feet were killing her after five minutes. Like, I thought that we could, like, 12.15, out the door, and but it's a little bit more of a process to get in the limo because all of the, um, the clothes need to be put in. The ride is two minutes, so you can't complain too long. I wasn't nervous. I don't think anybody else was nervous. So it was, it was good. It was a good morning. I was happy with how it went, for sure. Stay tuned for scenes from the next episode. Yeah, I'm a little one. You're emitting heat.